Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to Station Years. This is a game that's been requested a few times, and uh, it was up until recently that I actually really looked into it. Uh, I have seen a few minutes of video, and I'm talking just a few minutes of people who didn't really know what they were doing, and they were sort of dealing with like a... They had burned all the wiring out of their base or something like that, and they were busy replacing them, but I never really looked into it, and I decided to check it out the other day, and... Uh, I saw the word logic come up, and I think that basically sums it up. I have done a little bit of gameplay. I went through the tutorial, all the tutorials, which didn't really get into the whole mining part. And I spent about an hour trying to figure out like uh, where to get this so-called mining drill. I actually went, went ahead and got myself set up for to at least get the what was it the auto lathe. And I couldn't figure anything out. And I started seeing more machines and all that stuff. It's like oh god, so. I looked it up and apparently, uh, yeah, it's going to take me a little while to get used to the controls too. Uh, I'm getting a lot better than I was, but apparently it's actually in the mining belt. Uh, I did lower the GUI scale a little bit because uh, this window is like out to here and I want to keep keep it op open mainly for, uh, for the tool belt. Oh, and I got to keep remembering to hold alt like that and to close my windows when I'm not using them. But yes, uh, in here, you actually open this up, and there is the pickaxe and the mining drill. So I did not know that. Uh, another thing that's going to be tough to get used to, unless there's an upgrade down the road, is only having these two slots. That's going to be the tricky one. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and uh, start getting ourselves some set up. Uh, like I said, I have done a little bit. So I do know about like using the different tools to do the different stages of everything. Uh, we do have a bit of a drop pod here. We have uh, me not remembering how to actually play the game, even though I played it like just five minutes ago. You know, the whole bunch of stuff. We got different kits and p building supplies and stuff like that. And get over here. We got consumables or portable appliances or just more stuff. Handyman secret weapon. You gotta have duct tape in space, right? And then we got uh, consumables. And I don't know why they give us paint, that's obviously emergencies, right? We gotta know which color each crate is, and believe it or not, just like in Strata Deep, there's a label maker. Oh, there's a tracking beacon too, cool. And a whole bunch of other stuff, so there's food and all that stuff. But anyways, let's go ahead and start getting some something set up here. I need to start with the frames. I only get 30 of them. So, uh... Yeah, sure, over here is good. Or is it? I don't know. It's just going to be a platform like everything else. Alright. And just like this. Now, can you actually... See, I know there's like different variations and there's something about... Uh... Oh, what was it? About uh, precise placement on the actual grid itself. But I guess that's just for building on the grid, not the actual grid blocks itself. So we'll go ahead and place a few of these down. We'll do a, I think I'll do a three by three for now. I don't know how many I need. How many of these? Uh, how much? I'm sorry. <laughs> how many supplies I actually need all together to build each one of these blocks? Well, I should go with twelve because we're gonna need room to get some solar panels up and the battery charger and power control, and I can't get up. <laughs> uh oh. <sighs> that's why I didn't want to do that. Uh, hmm. Well, I can actually. I can use my jetpack, but that's besides the point. And that's why I was trying to find a place to build it. It snaps this weird grid. So I could have built it down here. Hmm. Anyway, uh, what does that do? Half the jetpack. Yes, jetpack is on. Let me jetpack down. Uh, if you in this, we also have. Uh, where's here? There. Yeah. We actually have a canister of our jetpack propellant. Uh, from what I've seen, that's actually a fair amount of jetpack fuel, so we don't have to worry about that. The only thing I have to worry about is batteries. Uh, currently, and I should not be using my light if I don't actually need it. Thank you. Okay, so now we need we need the welding tool. Uh, let me actually increase this GUI. It's a little too small. That's a little better. And still, this is only 50%. Anyway, so let's grab the welding tool. I think the frame should go in there. They will not. Duct tape will, though. Yes, duct tape is a tool. I need iron sheets. Okay. So now we just run over here. We'll find the iron sheets in here somewhere. They are. 
do, do, do. There they are. Go ahead and grab that. Let me go over here. Go back to the welding tool. Oh yeah. Gotta turn on. It helps if I actually grab the welder, not the drill. Haha. <laughs> yes, I actually have to turn it on. Oh, yeah, it's a couple of stages. So it looks like each one uses two sheets. Hang on. Yeah, two sheets. I don't know if there's another stage after this or not, but we don't really need it. This is good enough. Alright, and then jet back on. And then we go over here and we drop back down. And hopefully there's gonna be stairs I can use. Now as far as like what there all is in this game, like I said, I have absolutely no idea. I haven't actually looked into anything at all about the game, just basically what you're gonna see in the next ten minutes or so. Okay, turn that off. Uh, let's put that away. We get duct tape back, and now as we get some power going, let's uh, should have a. We basically have a kit for all the basic stuff here. So this is basically uh, a starter thing. Anyway, yeah, it wouldn't be in there. It would be. Uh, we don't need a solid generator. We'll need that eventually. We'll do that afterwards, just because of uh, solar panel. Uh, just because of inventory purposes. Okay, now I gotta keep remember which side of the crater that it, I'm in. Oh, it's right here. Okay, and of course I can't get up. Haha. <laughs> I'll have to do something about that. I'm sure there's something we can build. There's a there's a station for everything in this game. Anyway, uh, let's, yeah, right here is good. We'll go ahead and place that, and then I need glass panels. So we go back down here. Might as well turn the light on because it's getting dark. Uh, let's see, glass panels. Way up there. Huh? Glass sheets. Yes, just look for the big giant black structure and go to find out where I gotta go. Oh, come on. Come on, hit the right buttons there. There we go. Okay, and now we have a solar panel. And it is. It's not going to be generating any power right now because, uh, one, I don't think there's anything connected to it, and it won't if it, there's not, and two, the sun's going down. Anyway, uh, yeah, you can actually control all that stuff with logic circuits, so you'll be able to actually have the solar panels rotate to get maximum efficiency if you really want. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's put that duct tape away too, because that's filling up inventory space. Alright, next we need a uh, power controller. Actually, let's put. Can I. I know it was supposed to be a way you could just take one of them. Anyway, we'll take that. Uh, what else we're going to need? We're going to need power controller. We need to take the battery charger too. Let's see where it is. Uh, that's just for the suit power. Uh, your suit has everything's basically got its own inventory. So you can get like uniform upgrades or uh, replace your batteries. Uh, filters for. Uh, Suit, uh, CO2 levels in your suit, waste tank, uh, I didn't see that, air tank. Uh, helmet also has different things, oh yeah, I'm going to lock my mask, because sometimes you might accidentally hit I, which opens up your helmet, and they actually do that in the tutorial, which is basically say if, you're, if your helmet malfunctions, hint hint, and you're, you, it accidentally opens by itself, at least you can lock it so you don't throw it killing yourself. Anyways, I was looking for a battery charger. I'm running on here. Alright, let's uh, see where that thing is. It'd be nice if I actually remember what these things look like. And Of course, everything is sort of randomly placed in these every time you spawn, even though this is the fourth time I've been through. Yes, we do have an oxygen tank, and I'm going to try to get a base going as soon as I can. Where was that battery charger? There it is. Thank you. Uh, yeah, everything's in ha independently controlled by each hand, or you know what I mean. If it's in your right hand, you gotta basically switch. Left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. All right. Uh, anyways, uh, right, left hand. This is power control. Now I was saying, I was saying that everything was supposed to be behind the power control. So power on one side, machines on the other. So let's try it this way. We'll do this. Uh, 
need a battery charger. Uh, battery charger will stick over here. Uh, select the item, and then you right click to get into placement mode. And if you and if you hit the wrong buttons like I'm doing, this is what happens. And yes, as you read, it's uh, certain cases it's page up, page down, or delete to rotate. And delete's not working on that one. I don't know why. Oh, you can do it with C too, but it's not saying that. And as you can see, there's also data control and power control. So you can uh, control this thing logistically if you want. You can, that's your power connection. You can hold up to four batteries, and we'll get into that eventually. Uh, now, the in fun, interesting part that I like so far is the power cables. Uh, there are different variations of cables, different types of junctions, and straight sections, and all that stuff. So that's. That's a cool one, so we can... I thought everything was supposed to be behind this thing. Oh well, let's just do it this way. Okay, with junction this way, I just happen to line up. And I'm hitting the wrong buttons again. Because it's going to be C to rotate, which is a little odd. But we'll do this, and we're going to place... Place another junction here. And hit the right buttons, ha. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna, like I said, it's gonna take me a minute to figure this one out. Oh, that's a four way corner. I do not want that. Of course not. I want junction. That's what I want. Yeah. Using the mouse wheel to scroll between them and then you always forget and I start hitting things like Q and E because it's what I'm used to with other games that I play. Alright, so then we place another one there and there, and then uh, there's gonna be a few things here, so maybe I'll put a go ahead and put a junction on now. Not a four way corner junction. And there we go. Hit the lead and actually goes the right way. Uh what else do we need? Uh, we'll have to get the auto lathe in. We'll do that now. Let's get that out. And Oh yeah, we actually have to open this thing up and put a battery in here. And guess how we open that up? with a crowbar. Now yeah, you can spoil the secrets but sort of sitting there the whole time. Uh, there's a large battery and a small battery. I don't know which one it actually needs, but another large battery will fit in there. Okay, and up we go again and back down. And yes, in case you're wondering, you can actually go out in space and do stuff out there too, so that's always fun. Uh, oh yeah, let's go to Let's actually put that thing away. What is this? This is... I don't know what battery charger was or not. Power control. Okay. And... Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, crowbar. Take that off. Uh, everything is drag and drop, or you can actually go over it and... Go in and out, turn that on, go back to the crowbar here, and come on. No. <laughs> that works. Okay, that is good. And yes, you can't actually rotate all that stuff. That is that. Now let's get the auto wave. And we can hopefully start crafting some stuff pretty soon. Uh, doors, consoles, vent, power controller, uh, auto aid. Yes, an hour furnace too. Uh, there's going to be there's quite a few different orders I've seen so far when looking around. There's uh, oh, I missed. Uh, usual copper, iron, coal, uh, uranium, uh, volatiles, uh, and I'm going to assume by the name they are volatile. And then same thing to do, this machine's got a power connection and a data connection, so we do that. Now we actually do multiple stages here. So now we need the welding torch, uh, welding torch, and iron sheets. We go fly, jump over here, grab our iron sheets, which are... Uh, <laughs> if I was an iron sheet, where would I be? Right there, right in front of me. I might as well just start using that jetpack from now on. Let's actually see how much that jetpack fuel I have left. 
Okay, maybe we won't continuously fly everywhere and turn it on and turn it off. A little excessive, but sure. And then it needs four cable and then welding torch and plastic sheets. Okay, we go over here and then plastic sheets should be oh, right there. Up, up, up. And the only reason why I didn't build it in the crater would have been easier to get to is because I don't want to live in a hole. Uh, what's it doing? Yeah. That's where we're going. Seems kind of weird you gotta use a welder to put plastic sheets on a machine. Uh, well, oh, yeah, let's save power for that. And I believe that is everything. Now, this. Oh, yeah. We gotta finish up with the screwdriver. And we are done. Alright. Let's switch it on. And we, as you can see, we have uh, all these different types of recipes we can build from here. Now, these kits are other machines we build to build other things. That's what I'm, I'm assuming. And I'm pretty sure I am right on that. Okay, so uh, that is good. Now, what's the next step? The next step. Probably get some more foundation down. Some uh, more area to go looking around in. Uh, oh, it's going to pay attention to the power. Probably looking to batteries themselves. Speaking of batteries, Let's see how many I have in here. I should have two small ones. How is my suit doing? Medium. Yeah, so I'll have to get that charging pretty soon. I'll have to get some. So I got two of them there. Duct tape. Air generator. And that. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get the basic, you know, the platform, we'll call it. Expand a little bit and I'll bring you back. Okay, expand the platform a little bit. I think we'll try something. Something I actually need. Stairs. I don't know if you can actually see that. Uh, but yeah, I can build stairs. I need 15 grams of iron. Uh, we can go get some iron. I think I'll need the... Uh, what you might call it there? The arc furnace to process it. So I'm going to go in here. We're going to... I'll just take the pickaxe out. Pick, pick axe out. Because it's... Uh, my drill is a little on the aggressive side. And this is also why I lowered my GUI. Because... Uh, I thought stuff was supposed to go in here automatically, but apparently I have to manually put it in. Uh, hmm. I need inventory space again. Because I don't think those will go in there, will they? No, they won't. Will those? No. Hmm. Those? No. I need to put something away. Uh, put that in there. <sighs> yeah, inventory management definitely is going to be needed in this game. Uh, let's see what I can put away. Uh, I do have this. I don't know what this is for. It has a GUI of its own. I think it's for... I think it's for uh, charging batteries on your person. So I'll put the flares away. And that way I can do this. We can open that up. And then I can put this back in my backpack. Oh, maybe not. Why is that not working? It was open before. Can I go here? No. Yeah, I guess I gotta be able to pick stuff up. Oh yeah, gotta pick it up. Yeah, never mind, drag and drop. Yeah. Uh and real world interactions. You'll have to excuse me, I've got less than an hour of actual gameplay in this. So I gotta remember where that pod is, cause I <laughs> should probably use my, use my head and actually place that beacon down. Alright, so the ores are fairly easy to spot in this game. Especially with the light. Oh, that actually reminds me, we gotta go we'll get that battery in the treasure. And yes, there's a cave system. I have not explored the caves, I have no idea what's down there. Whoa, that was a little high. That was not the jetpack. Uh, battery. 
Okay, now this is going to be a way to test something here. So what can I do? Uh, can I first open up my suit? Can I actually change the battery like this? Beautiful. That is really good. So now that gives me an idea. I'll take this out because then you can actually just uh, leave the batteries in the charger and just swap them on the go. Moon's A, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm stationed. Yes. Soon it will be stairs up. And now I should turn that off. Go over here. And hit the right button. Pop that in there. So then when I come up come over and change my battery, all I have to do is just drag it right into there. Power low. Power full. Perfect. Okay, let's go look for some iron. That's the same hole I fell in about twenty times building that level platform. Maybe not 20 times, but I fell in a few times. Okay, so the blue stuff is, I think it was oxalite or something. Uh, I think it's like solid oxygen, possibly. This stuff here, this is oxide. Whatever that is. There's the iron. So this is iron, you mine it mine out of the ground and it looks a little different but here uh, you gotta get that red hitbox somewhere come on there we go you get this and you actually just drag it into the pot in your inventory like that so that comes in handy is there any more in here yeah totally destructible world too so we could probably mine the moon down to nothing. Alright, uh, next. Let's go get some more iron here. I have no idea what, uh, how much this actually gets processed when you smelt it. It is definitely ore. Uh, so... I hit the middle load here. <laughs> oh yeah. Come here, come here, come on, come on. Oh, that one's gone. Maybe I should auto-pick auto this stuff up. Uh, there you go. I'll take care of this. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back just in time for sunrise. Uh, also, as you can see, uh, actually you can't, but I grabbed a stack of coal while I was at it. Uh, so we can get a little bit of a solid fuel generation for when we need it. I turn that off. Uh, that is not fully charged. So, what I was saying about, uh, about this is if I grab my wrench... Uh, let's put that away for now. Take, yeah, take the wrench. You can actually rotate it. Now, I want to pay attention to that hinge. I'm going to turn my light on so I can see. And, as you can see, it's rotating. So we're going to change it to 90 degrees. And then we can actually change the pitch of it, too. There you are. So now I can get more adequate sun. And that way it keeps everything else up and running. And, and I left that on. Oh, turn that off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's let that charge. So how are you doing now? Uh, 80 watts. Let's actually adjust this a little bit more. Now we're getting about 50% efficiency. So hopefully that's going to charge us up quicker. Uh, in the meantime, let's uh, go ahead and make... Uh, let's see, I can put this away for now. Get that arc furnace down. Now, where are you? Yeah, the, the light drains power so fast. Yeah, I can't even turn the light on because it's so low. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's take the solar generator out. We got the coal. We might as well start burning it. I have a jetpack. I might as well start using it. 
It doesn't matter. We'll be building stairs here in a minute. Okay, so I did leave a power connection here. So let's go ahead and solid fuel generator. Let's put this over here. Okay, and rotate like so. Oop. Yeah, I gotta hold to place things. Okay, I gotta grab the wire cutters. I actually do like that mechanic, and I took. I actually put a four-way corner there. It's just silly me. Uh, put those in there. Thank you. Put that with that stack, and then we can go like this. Let's see, I want a, a four-way. Yes. And I put it straight in there. If I remember to hit the right button, C to rotate. Don't you know anything? You're supposed to use C to rotate parts, not R. R is just R's for losers. I'm sorry. I had to. Anyway, uh, yeah, how do we. Uh, 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 let me squeeze by. Thank you. No, do not insert cable coil. Alright, so we're gonna put that away. I'm gonna put the coal in and. I was gonna say, what? No sound that I remembered. Oh, yeah, we're in space. Well, not in space space, but we're on the moon. So, how much power is this thing actually generating now? Am I doing this right? I think I am. Power, critical. Oh, ha 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 ha. Helps you turn it on. Now it's charging. See, I know what I'm doing. Okay, uh, and then I'm assuming the flashing lets me know that it's actually generating and using power. At least that's what I think. Alright, all that's doing that is go grab the arc furnace. Somewhere in this mess, and I'm gonna have to do some organizing after the next before the next episode. Uh, ooh, up, up we go. There we go. Now I don't need the stairs. I'm just gonna. Uh, I actually like how games do that, where you, they don't allow you to control yourself while, while you're in mid-flight. Yeah, I was, I was trying to fight it. Believe me, I was trying to fight it. Okay, let's put the arc furnace over here. Uh, a C to rotate. Okay, and then, uh, actually... Is that actually gonna work? Let's find out. Okay, and... that and I think that's it okay oh yeah I guess turn it on helps I'd like that so each one is a gram those are awfully big gram grams and then output goes out the back I guess. Alright, how's that battery doing? That's fully charged. That was actually very fast. See, it helps if you turn things on. And, how much fuel do we have left in here? I have no idea. I'm gonna turn it off for now. I used half that coal. Wow. <sighs> Solar farm it is then. <laughs> And generating no power. And how are we doing here? We are done. Uh, no, I do not want to insert my cable coils. I want some light so I can. Oh, equip the right hand so I can pick it up. So now I got the iron. Okay, so now, from here, we can actually place in here, and then I think you can, well, you do need to add different things for us, depending on what you're going to make. Okay, so let's go ahead and make some stairs. Wait, what? Wait. 
And they're not telling me what it needs. What's the red stuff? That worked. And I think my character's on auto run. I'm not 100% sure. And they went where? Because I'm out of power. <laughs> of course. Oh, I was just. Do this. Quit messing around. I can do a whole bunch of mining off camera. Okay, turn you back on. Yes, it didn't craft it and ran out of power. Uh, am I really using that much power? I'm gonna say yes. Let's even fix this problem. Okay, let's do. Oh. I want two seventy. Oh, hurry! Chase that sun! Chase that sun! If I burned up all that coal. Okay then, uh, let's see, let's turn that off for now. now what I'm going to do is uh, check my uh, recording time because I'm sure I'm way over, so I'll be right back. Okay, I think it's going to work now. We have the solar panel facing the right way. I went on a quick coal hunt. Didn't find much, but found some. I didn't want to get lost because I will get lost. Oh, oh, oh. I clearly have to do something about that. Hmm. Yeah, I had no idea. Well, I guess we're going to have to do this. Oh, excuse me. Hand drill. Uh, where's my hand drill? That's a hand drill. Okay. Uh, what are you crafting right now? Nothing. Stop. Okay, what is that? That is, uh, I'm gonna assume that that's a stair kit, right? Stairs. Those are some big stairs. Okay, let's place them over here. Uh, also, too, I notice I can take those uh, containers off the little ship there with uh, the wrench yes I'm sorry I'm concentrating on something I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing here so yeah I ended up wasting some iron on some stairs but that's fine at least we can get up now but I actually want to see, try this here see if I can actually take these things down and move them up on the platform uh, let's take this one disconnect okay now can I actually uh, pick this thing up. Close that. Okay, now hopefully this doesn't bug me out because I had that happen before. Okay, good. Now let's see if we can actually drag this thing up onto the, the platform here. Make sure I'm going the right way, and we back up. Now, I don't think I can actually place it back down once I disconnected it. Okay, now what? Um, see, this is uh, something I never did figure out, is how you let go. Hmm. I might have to actually hunt this on Steam. How do I let go? Q. That makes sense. Now, can I actually anchor this again? Uh, no. Not that way, anyways. Okay. No, I can't. Oop. 
<laughs> the problem with the moon is when you slip, you slip up big time. Well, at least I can get stuff up here. All right, well, I think I'm going to call this one here. Uh, it's been a whole bunch of derping around trying to act like I know what I'm doing and realizing I have no clue what I'm doing. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to, after, after I finish recording this, I'm going to do a little bit of grinding, go pick, gather up some materials, get some more coal and iron and stuff like that, and go from there, and then we'll see about getting some more power situation going for the next episode. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.